sometimes it may be easier for you to do the shopping cart trick. But sometimes some people is unable to do the shopping cart trick. So take this video lightly. So try to see if you're able to do it. But with the shopping cart trick is you actually saying, go ahead and sell my information. When it comes down to selling your information, remember there's so many different companies that collect so much information about you and there's, they sell it. That's what I get paid. They sell your information, right? So with the shopping cart trick is you're actually saying, go ahead and sell my information, which they're going to sell it to the credit card companies. And the credit card companies are going to say, hmm, I'll give Rakita a chance. I bought her information before. So maybe she must be, maybe she must have good enough credit to get my card. But the the chances of you actually having good enough credit to get the card is very slim. So what you're actually doing is saying, go ahead, spread my information out to all these different credit card companies so I can get credit card offers in the mail. I know um, you may have gotten an offer in the mail. Hey, look like we can give you a credit card up to $500. Go ahead and you're pre-qualified. That's all it basically, they sold your information to credit bureaus. They did. They sold your information, right? That's all they really did. So now you want to say, hey, I'm not sure if you sold my information, but go ahead and sell my information so I can go ahead and try to get some credit cards. Now, with the shopping cart trick, we're tricking them into actually giving you a card without actually pulling your credit reports. But let me show you a few things um, that you can actually do to try to get into, or try to get one of the credit cards. Now, before we get started, too, I'm going to actually tell you, too, Victoria's Secrets is an easy um, place where you can do the shopping cart trick. Simply be. And I have the buckle here. I have a few of them here. That's so easy to do, but you can go ahead and just go down a list and try to get these different accounts here. Now, you can just keep scrolling, 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 all these different accounts. Overstock.com, Pier 1. Now, these are the ones where I actually um, was able to help people get credit cards. But first thing you have to do is actually do the factor trust here. So this is the form that you will actually fill out to try to say, go ahead, some information. So you could try to even get a card. So you will go ahead. The electric opt in for five years. Submit. All you have to do is fill out your information here and press confirm. Put your name here, put your last name, put your social, put your date of birth, put your address here, and then put your email um, address here too. Now, when you fill out a um, credit application, say if you're trying to do Victoria's Secrets, when you fill out for Victoria's Secrets, all of the information that you put here, you want to put exactly the same information on your. Um, application for the card. Now let's go down to Victoria's Secret credit card. Now remember, after you go ahead and do the factor trust here, and I'm probably skipping, like going crazy, but after you do the factor trust here, you want to wait. Go ahead and wait probably about five days. Wait five days. Make sure it's in their system. Make sure they sold it. Remember, everything is like electronically. Make sure they sold to all these different companies so Victoria's Secrets, they can even know about it. So let's go here to Victoria's Secrets. Now, I don't care whether you're a man or woman, whatever the case may be, go ahead and do the shopping cart trick for Victoria's Secrets. But before you start, you want to actually go here in your history. When I got all my little history popping up. Go here in your history and make sure you go ahead and clear your history, clear any cookies, clear all of that good stuff. Let me see. So after you go ahead and clear the cookies and all that stuff, maybe you want to find a YouTube video on how to clear your history, how to clear your cookies. Or maybe I can go ahead and make a separate video. I'll just I'll just see. But I don't want too much people doing all the different type of things that I do. But you'll go ahead and clear your history and clear your cookies. And then what you'll do is you'll just go here. Let's click on lingerie. Three for 36 styles. Okay, and I'm looking for price too. I don't, I don't want to see her. She need to put some more clothes on. <laughs> So now we're here. What you want to do is you want to add about $150 worth of items to the card. So since this one is $49.50, I'll just get three of these. That way it gets me to where I need to be. And remember, too, this trick doesn't work for everyone. But it works for some people, too. And if it works for you, that's good. You're able to get credit cards. Because you're tricking them into give you a credit card. So add to bag. I oh, they want us to pick a size. Go ahead and click check out. Now you're going to act like you're purchasing these items. That way they be like, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got you, I got you, I got you. Check out as guest. So what you'll do is you, you're going to type. 
Remember, type your information here. Sometimes you may see an autofill where they want to autofill your information in. Do not let them do that. You go ahead and type each thing because the computer is, is at the same time too reading what you're putting in. And as soon, because it's not going to do it for me, but as soon as you keep typing your information in, type your first name in, type your last name in, type your address in the same way that you did when you was just on um, Factor Trust. Same way when you was just on this screen on Factor Trust. Same way you put your information in, make sure you put that information in here on Victoria's Secrets the same exact way. Because what they're going to do, they're going to keep reading, 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 reading. And then it's going to pop up and say, hey, you're pre-approved for $500. We can put this on your credit card. Okay, you pre-approved for $300. You put in your credit card. And they're going to ask for the last four digits of your social. You just go ahead and put the last four digits of your social in. And then after that, you'll go ahead and cancel this. You say, oh, I don't want to buy that anyway. I changed my mind. But they're going to see you the credit card in the mail. So that's the best part about it. They're going to still see you that credit card in the mail. And you'll just go down the list and do this for all these different credit cards I put here. So many different credit cards I listed here that you can actually do the shopping cart trick. Um, with, and I believe they had a video on YouTube. I'm trying to see if I can find that video where you can actually learn how to do that also with the shopping cart trick. But I found it easier when I did it on a desktop to do a shopping cart trick. It seemed like it was so much easier to do it on a desktop than it was to do it on a laptop. I'm not sure why. And then, too, another thing, too, you want to go into incognito. I'm not sure if you know what incognito is, but um, incognito is here. That way they don't know who you are. You already cleared your cookies. You already cleared your data. They can go ahead and track you. Remember, everything is tracked with the Internet. So, that's really the shopping cart trick. And remember, too, as soon as I give you that credit card, I said, put your last four digits of your social in. Then I'm going to take you to the screen. Continue to check out with your credit card. Oh, no. Change my mind. I don't want it anymore. Go ahead and cancel all that out. And then you can go down the list and just keep getting different credit cards. And it shouldn't be a hard inquiry. It should be a soft inquiry. A soft inquiry means it don't hurt your credit score. But let me know if you have any success with this. If you, don't, if you do have any success with this, make sure you put it in the comments. Or go ahead and post your results within the group. And if you don't really have much success, like, kid, it's not working. Don't worry yourself about it. It doesn't work for everyone. So I can't just keep saying, okay, it's definitely going to work for you. What are you doing wrong? This, it's nothing like that. If you follow those, it's simple steps. If you follow those simple steps and it does not work for you, it may not, it may not work for you at all. So that's really the shopping cart trick. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm here for you. Thank you.